Well, that's weird. Look at that little buddy. He's from the other guys. He's not supposed to be there. But don't worry. We can take him and put him into the timeline of DaVinci Resolve and split it up into layers. This is so cool. Here's how to do it. The first thing you need is a Photoshop file. Now, because I'm off of my Adobe subscription, I like to use a suite called Affinity. Affinity has a alternative to Photoshop called Affinity Photo. It has an alternative to Illustrator called Affinity Designer. It even has an InDesign alternative, which is pretty cool. Anyhow, I got this stock illustration that comes as a Photoshop file split up into layers. And the one thing that I'm gonna do to kind of prepare this to bring it into Resolve is I wanna make sure that I rasterize all my layers. Because this is built with vector shapes and you can't really bring vector shapes onto the timeline inside of Resolve, so we need to rasterize these. Photoshop might be a little bit different, but in Affinity, I'm just gonna select the layer, go up to layer, and go down to rasterize. That's going to rasterize that layer. It's basically just going to make it into a single layer. That's just a picture. Same thing with the body and go on through this. Once you have all of your layers, just normal pixels, <laughs> you can export this out. So I'm just exporting it as a PSD with layers and saving it somewhere that makes sense. Also, I don't know if you've heard, but we have a mini course available to help you make motion graphics inside of Resolve. It's several different techniques that help you make amazing graphics in under five minutes. It's a totally free mini course. All you have to do is click right there or click the link down below and you can soak up that wisdom, and make your videos cooler. All right, let's move on. Then you can drag your PSD into the media pool here in Resolve. I can take this PSD and just drag this onto the timeline and look at that. There we have our nice little man and that works right on the timeline. That's really cool. But what's really, really powerful here is that I can split this up into layers and it's super easy. All I have to do is right click on this clip and go up to split PSD layers in place for bam. It should look exactly the same, but now we're split up into different layers. And so if you wanna do some animation, if you want to just bring in a bunch of assets all at once, just all in one PSD file, then this is a great way to do it. This is perfect for logos and graphics and all kinds of stuff. But I think this is pretty darn slick. And this works really well with the new animation tools inside of Resolve, namely the keyframes panel, where you can animate things here on the timeline and have a lot of control over the keyframes and the easing and that kind of thing. But yeah, that's how you do it. You prepare your PSD, you bring it in here, drop it down into the timeline, right click, split PSD layers in place, and oh baby, we're off to the races. Super fun, right? Don't forget to check out our mini course on making motion graphics right here. It's totally free. If you're into spicing up your videos, well, oh baby, that's just that's just a great time. That's just a great a great thing to do. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs>